I'm assuming y'all know who this Peckerwood is. This fucking heroin, opioid addict, one lip lazy eyed cracker. Y'all know this is Kid Rock, who I really don't give a shit about or give a fuck about anyway like that. But if you're a wrestling aficionado, he one wrote the damn song and shit um, for The Undertaker's WWE Superstar, The Undertaker's music instruments, American Badass. Let's get one thing straight. Kid Rock is definitely no Undertaker. You ain't Mark Calloway. And you surely, sure as hell isn't Colin Kaepernick. Which who he dissed at a show that he did in Iowa. Um, first of all, let me show a shout out here to Ticket TV and um, for for bringing that to my attention and all that stuff. You know, I always hated this Peckerwood anyway. I hated him on Biker Boys. I hate his damn songs. Hell, I even hate how the fuck he smells. But then again, Kid Rock is a white supremacist anyway. He's a Caucasian terrorist anyway. I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? And he's buddy buddies with King Louis 45. All right. Because he, he was at a concert in Iowa. And he was like the biggest draw there. I think about 800. He got paid like 600,000 or some shit. I don't know. I really don't care. But what he said at the end. Said he didn't want to bring politics um, into his concert so when he mentioned the NFL he bring it right there into it due to the fact with our protests so he said you know what fuck Colin Kaepernick well Kid Rock the same the same feelings mutual to you too fuck you pussy ass cracker peckerwood a cracker is a cracker is a cracker is a cracker is a peckerwood that's all it is. Oh, and uh, Kid Rock. Let me, I'm going to go it a little bit more further because, see, I'm known for going extreme because one of my best mentors um, happens to be the late, great Dick Gregory and current, as well as the late, great Steve Coakley. But one of the pe current people who I do take, take notes from is Jason Black. <laughs> but I'm a little bit more extreme with it. Nobody fucks with Kaepernick not on my watch. Just to show you, remind you that Colin Kaepernick ain't even thinking about your fuck ass. Take a gander at this. I'll let y'all play it, people, and y'all enjoy. Colin Cap is under attack. What do we do? Colin Cap is under attack. What do we do? No justice. No justice. No racist. I'm about to become a college football fan only. Watch a little high school football. But if Kaepernick can't get a job, and I see that Jay Cutler can, I, that tells me that you know something is wrong with the system, and they're trying to stop his ability to have free speech. And I um, disagree with that. So I'm not gonna watch it. Though. My conscience is not gonna allow me to watch it. And mind you, I go all the way back to the Macklin reception. I'm a New Steelers fan and a Giant fan, but my conscience is not gonna allow me um, to watch the NFL. It's not. I know it. He has taken a knee for a very good cause, the cause of social injustice, gunning down of innocent black men, boys, women, and girls in the streets, and all the good that he does off the field, and he's not recognized for this, he's just recognized for taking a knee, and he has been unfairly treated by the NFL. And if I want to make a stance that's going to be what I believe is wrong, then that's good enough for me. You know, it doesn't matter how many other people may or may not do it. I think by the amount of people that are coming out here today on a short notice like this is an indication that, you know, people are in agreement that uh, Kaepernick is not being treated fairly. I don't need to say no more. Shoot. In the famous words of the one LVZ, motherfucker, man caught the NFL. This who we stand behind. Fuck a kid rock. Yeah, you saying like that. That's who we stand behind. He took a knee for us. So man, we need to start taking a knee for them. The question I want to know is, how many of you old moist ass, bird, bird ass, big bird ass dudes 
gonna be out here gonna have y'all ass glued to a goddamn TV screen come September come the first Sunday of September some of y'all been talking all that shit oh I ride with Cap but nah half of y'all gonna be sitting right there in front or at the bar watching the motherfucking Dolphin game or a Jets game or who or most here in South Florida half the motherfuckers that's down here are goddamn Patriot fans yeah you figure that they Tom Brady dick riders man Well, fuck Kid Rock. Now, a lot of people want me to go in on George Foreman and, and um, Andy Young, though, but I'm going to save that for tomorrow, which is Thursdays. Yes, right. It, tomorrow will be the return of Cool Hunter's Thursdays. <laughs> I got some upgraded hunting gear. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be ugly, nasty, smelly, dirty, filthy, low-down, bloody mess. Coons got to go down. Too many of them out in the woodwork. You know? Too many out in the woodwork. But, yeah. You seen it right there. That was that. That was the rally that was going on up there in um, New York yesterday, and probably still gonna be going on right now. Who knows? The people probably still sitting up out there. But you know, like I say, man, you know, Kid Rock come with that little weak ass shit. Man, cracker, go sit your ass down somewhere. Go smoke. Go shoot a needle up your arm and stuff like that. You y'all, you the new face of Heron anyway. Shit, fuck Kid Rock. Shit, motherfucker, we stand, we we ride, we ride with Kaepernick, man. Straight up, I didn't even want to share a photo with that mother. Cap the shit, my picture of Cap the share photo with that motherfucker. You know, but let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section you know go ahead and share the video if you want to subscribe make sure you hit that bell so when i get new videos up you get the notifications with that said i'm out no more talk <laughs>